Hey birds, my name is Glibwings, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we finished off the dungeon. We finished off the third dungeon, actually. And in this episode, we are going to be going to get the Master Sword. And, um, before we head off and actually do, like, a bunch of, like, the temples and stuff like that, I figured out something, uh, just through looking up some extensive walkthroughs again. There's a lot of the side questing we have to do first before we can do that. So, well, I mean, some of the side quests are optional, but I'm going to be doing some more side questing. So you're going to see, so you'll probably be seeing a lot more side questing before we head off to uh, the first temple. And I'm going to be looking up extensively how to do that temple. So anyway, let's get into today's episode, though. All right. So let's go. All right, I start off here. But, what we're going to do is we're actually not going to cut to the castle. We're actually just going to, um, we're actually just going to walk over there. And just make things a little bit easier. My goodness, this is loud. Hold on, guys. Sorry, that was really loud for me. Okay, anyway. Alright, anyway. Let's go. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to cut this time because um, I don't want to skip over uh, what's coming up here, so. Alright, let's go. Hyrule Field, or as I used to call it, Hercule Field. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> I just used to, that's all. Alright, so, let's head over to Hyrule Fields, because we were supposed to go meet Princess Zelda, so let's go do that, guys. Yes, Navi. Navi, please. Shoot up. Please. Oh boy, it's getting dank. It's getting pretty danky. All right, cutscene time. All right, now one thing I want to note is when we were looking for the Ocarina of Time after we met with Sheik on, or after we first met Zelda, I was miles off from when we were supposed to get it. Uh, just a heads up, we're actually supposed to get it now after this cutscene. I was miles off. By the way, guys, uh, you will notice some things in this cutscene that should hopefully look familiar. Hopefully. It's Zelda, and she's being taken away. Oh, she's gonna throw in the Ocarina of Time into the lake. Man, she's got a good arm. <laughs> oh, it's Ganondorf. Mr. Ganondorf, what's up? You gotta look at me. I'm just gonna stare ahead. Arg, I lost her. You over there, little kid. Hey, I'm not little. I'm just a brave warrior that happens to be very short. <laughs> I won't answer to you, Mr. Ganondorf. Not a chance. Yes, I got lots of guts. On the why? Because I'm the hero of time. Hey, 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 <laughs> anyway, you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. Alrighty. Oh no, he's going to do a thing. No, I got knocked down. Oh no. Well, I do now. <laughs> I'm Ganondorf, and soon I will rule this world, or rule the world. Alrighty, we'll see about that, Mr. Ganondorf. I like how he just, like, trails off into nothingness. It's like, what am I gonna do? 
I know what to do. Well, fade to white first. Okay. Anyway. All right. Let's go get the Master Sword, guys. Oh, well, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and get our Ocarina of Time, which will replace our Fairy Ocarina. Crap, I missed. Got it. Yeah, we got the Ocarina of Time. Yeah, boy. All right. Now another cutscene. Isn't this fun, guys? <laughs> Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. And I have a special message for you. <laughs> You hold this ocarina in your hand. I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you with this ocarina and this melody. Or the ocarina and this melody. Or and the bleh. And this is the first time when we actually learn the song of time, I believe if I'm correct. In the N64 games, this is probably going to be one of the most intense, or like, uh, one of the two most intense scenes from the actual uh, games themselves. You learn the Ocarina of Time, or you, wow, you learn the Song of Time. There we go. Yeah. That's probably going to be one of the most, or that that's probably going to be the, uh, one of the two most intense scenes in the actual um, what's it called? Okay, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, it's one of the two most intense scenes uh, in the N64 games, I find. Uh, the first one I found in Majora's Mask, I, I believe, because the first one is when you beat the first boss and you get the Oath to Order. That's a very intense scene. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, guys, we're actually gonna quickly save the game. Just before we forget. Alright, so let's head over here and get what we so desire. And this will probably be our third cutscene. Zelda fans, you know what I'm talking about. Took a little bit for the music to kick in there. Alright, anyway. All right, let's grab our Ocarina of Time, which actually gets replaced by the Fairy Ocarina. Or, the Fairy Ocarina, other way around, I mean. The Fairy Ocarina gets replaced by the Ocarina of Time, so we no longer have a Fairy Ocarina. We just kind of ditched it and we're like, eh, this one's cooler. So, anyway. All right, so, let's play the melody. Whoops. Oh, crap. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, nicely done. And this should open the door of time. Well, first it's gonna put the spiritual stones on the pedestals, then it will open the door of time. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about, all three spiritual stones. Man, these were hard to get. Well, the first one is never that hard. The second and third one I always have trouble with. Third one I've pretty much always had trouble with here and there. But this is the first time I actually feel like I did it correctly and did it pretty good. Nonetheless, we opened the door, so that's pretty good. We opened the door of time. Everything just has to have of time on the end, obviously. But, you know. Nonetheless, let's go. Link, isn't that dot dot dot? <laughs> it's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. 
The Master Sword. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's pull it, guys. Come on, like, pull it. Yeah, boy. Let's go seven years into the future. Okay, yeah, heh, heh, excellent work. Okay. Yep. Yes, I did. I did the thing. Oh, okay. Yep, that's me. Ganondorf sure, sure seems pretty happy. Link, wake up. Link, the chosen one. That's me, Mr. Chosen One. Don't wear it out. Oh, hey. Another cutscene. Well, I guess this is an extension to the third cutscene, but you know. Alrighty. We appear to be here. Funny enough, I always thought that all the sages were gonna look like him, but just different colors, but no, they they don't. I am Raru. <laughs> The Ancient One of Sages. Nice. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. Pedestal of time. Like I said, everything just has to have of time on the end of it if it's important. Look at myself. Alrighty, I will do. Hey, I got older. You're big now. You're grown up. Yes, I am. Well, that's good that they don't touch it. Well, I am worthy. That's kind of a King Arthur reference. I feel like they just... I feel like Zelda partly ripped off King Arthur just because of the fact that, like... That's such a King Arthur reference. Only the Chosen One can pull the blade from the stone. I mean, that's basically just King Arthur in a nutshell right there. Here for seven years. All right. Sounds about right. Do you understand your destiny? Take your destiny. <laughs> yes, I did. In the name of peace, I don't know about that. I mean, there's not peace yet. <laughs> Seven short years, man. Seven years feels like a long time, man. I don't know about seven short years, but I guess it's pretty short now since we moved through time pretty quickly. Little influence. Alrighty. There's still hope. Well, usually in these games, there usually always is, so that's a good thing. Man, he's got so much to say. Sounds about right. <laughs> it's like, this sword, you did not choose this sword, this sword chose you. Alrighty. 
That's a lot to say. I only got like... I think I got like majority of it, of what he was trying to say, but like, still. Yeah, boy, we got a free gold medallion. Well, technically it's not free. We actually get this gold medallion for, uh, for getting here in the first place, I'm pretty sure. Alrighty. Good to go. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Will do. Don't worry. Hyrule is safe in my hands. I can do it. Temple of Time. Alrighty. Now for the last bit of dialogue after this. But have seven years really passed? Hmm, only one way to find out. Yep, that's right. Let's get you out of here. Alrighty, let's go. It's this guy. I won't give away his name yet. Been waiting for you, hero of time. I love his music every time he appears. He's like the best. Uh, of destiny crap. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. One inside a goddess of the sand. See, interesting enough, I was actually trying to figure out what the order of the temples were. And when I heard his dialogue, or when I saw his dialogue, I'm like, yes, I nailed it. <laughs> I got it right. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, you are Sheikha, but I will call you, yeah, I am Sheik. Survivor of the Sheikhas. The, the mythical master sword. I like how he says, as long as I see you standing there with the mythic or holding the mythical master sword, it's like mythical, but mythical means it's not real and it's in my hand. What do you, what, 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 what are you trying to say here? <laughs> what else is not real here? <laughs> Probably according to his perspective, it's like, what? <laughs> Okay, cool. I must do the thing. I'm sure you know. Oh, I know her well, don't worry. Huh. Can I even enter the temple? Correct. Yes, I can't. Alright, if I believe what you're saying, I should do that. Oh, it doesn't even give me a yes or no option for that last part. Alright, cool. So, we got a lot of range, for one. And for two... Yeah, so we got a lot of range, and we are adult Link. Alright guys, well, that's been the episode, so... Not a whole lot that went on for action-wise, but like, we did get quite a bit done. So, like, for example, we have the Master Sword. Another example, and you might have already saw this, is we can't use some of our items. In case you guys didn't quite catch that. So, anyway. But yeah. So. Anyway, with that being said, that's been the episode, guys. So let's go ahead and save before we forget. So we can move on to the next side questing stuff uh, later on. Um, for next episode and the episodes to come, so... Before we're able to go into the Forest Temple, obviously, because we're going to be doing some extra side questing stuff beforehand. Uh, some of which we don't have to do, the one, uh, one of which we do have to do in order to get into the temple in the first place. But anyway, guys, that's been the episodes. As always, guys, if you like the video, hit it like a window. Play hard, take flight, Glibwings out. Racist. Equality.
perspective. <laughs>